Neil, this is Shane, and you were just listening to the Corvino SD electric guitar. This is the brand new version of it, and all the specs and details are in the description below. This is a much brighter and much livelier sounding guitar than the original black one, which I demoed quite a long time ago. Even though that sounded great and it made it onto a live album of mine, this one is leagues ahead of it. It's not only beautiful to look at, but it sounds beautiful. This guitar is loaded with two really nice pickups. It's got a mini humbucker in the neck and a Telecaster pickup in the bridge. These are Briley pickups and they're a match set and the whole thing just feels great in the hand. The neck's a nicer shape than the original and the whole thing sounds great. So a huge thanks to Dave and Viv for sending this out to let me check this one out. It's a total keeper for me. This thing is up there with the best of the guitars that I've played and I've just come back from shooting 40 videos in Sarasota. And I gotta say, this would be in my top 10 if I'd played this over there. It's really, really that nice. So great job and let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna be playing into a 68 custom deluxe reverb amplifier on around two or three on the volume. I've also got some pedals on the floor, which include the Paramount Drive, the Boss DD7 Digital Delay, the Maxon OD820 Overdrive Pro, one of my favorites, and the VFE Merman pedal. So we're gonna give this a shot and see how it sounds on various combinations. And let me know what you think in the comments below. If you wanna find out more, head over to littlecrowguitars.com. All the links and details about this will be in the description, so check it out. I'm gonna show you how these pickups sound on a clean tone to start with. And then we're gonna crank on some overdrive and some other effects as well. This is the neck pickup, which is the mini humbucker. <laughs> So it's nice and clear and it's nice and warm and that's one of the things I love about mini humbuckers over regular humbuckers is their note clarity. It almost sounds like a single coil except it has that little bit more body. Over to both pickups now which incorporates the back pickup, the tally pickup. Sounds nice and warm, has all the clarity that you could want. Now over to the bridge pickup, which is the back pickup. Unlike a regular Telecaster, and I'm a huge Telecaster fan, they sometimes don't have that low overtone on the bridge pickup. It's sometimes just that smack you in the face kind of sound. This sounds pretty mellow, but it still has that cut that you've come to expect while sounding very woody. Let's go ahead and try it with a slight amount of grit now, and there's no better pedal than this to try it with than the Paramount. I've just clicked it in, so let's give this a shot now. pickups.
It's a nice warm sound and that's only with a little bit of drive. So let's go ahead and crank on another overdrive pedal. This is the VFE Merman, which is based on the Klon. And I'm going to run both the pedals at the same time. So let's go. And with the Merman on. pickups. Let's go ahead now and turn on the Overdrive Pro pedal by Maxon and I'm going to turn the VFE Merman off. Very nice. Back to the neck. And bridge pickup now, which is my favorite when I start stacking overdrives together, especially the Paramount and the Maxon pedals. <laughs> Massive sound. Let's give it a shot now without the Max on Overdrive Pro on, so just the Paramount and some digital delay from the boss. That's the sound of the delay. And with the Merman. Neck pickup. Merman off and back on the Maxon. both pickups. Beautiful. Sounds great.
Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about this guitar, you can reach out to me in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to find out more about the Little Crow Guitars, head over to littlecrowguitars.com. They're based in Western Australia, in Australia. They do ship worldwide, I believe, and Dave's going to be making more of these in the future if you want to get your hands on one of the nicest guitars and one of the most unique looking guitars and also unique sounding guitars definitely give these a look as you may or may not know i've been playing my 52 telecaster with joe barton pickups for a long long time this sounds so much more lively than my telecaster which has been my number one for a long time so everything about this new one sounds really really nice and this is the original which i loved and it's still a nice guitar it's funny how much difference that the woods can make to a guitar and I would never have guessed it would be that much different. This sounds way darker than the new model. So Dave and Viv have done a little bit of research and they've made it sound even nicer. And this thing here sounded great. Like I said, it made it onto a live album. This one will make it onto my next live album. I need to see this a lot more on my videos. And he was nice enough to send me a little t-shirt as well. So that was nice of him. So thanks for that Dave and Viv and uh, yeah. Huge thanks to Little Crow Guitars. Let me know what you think and I'll speak to you all soon. See ya.